The lifting industry has such a diverse mix of opportunities in it, from designing apps to being hands-on to even running your own business. You may be aware of movies like uh, James Bond or Harry Potter. Uh, we've been involved in projects to move stages, etc., around to make these films happen. In terms of qualifications, I wouldn't say specifically you need any qualifications. There are no barriers to entry this industry. However, common sense, flexibility, dynamism, can-do attitude, and absolute competence in delivery is, is critical, it's key. If you already start to learn and understand maths and science and technology and that kind of things, that's an age that you can be introduced to that industry. All kids are going to pick up a Lego brick, so they're going to understand that motion of lifting something. Then, you know, that can just expand through play even uh, and just work from there. This industry is not something that when I started I thought that I would be very passionate about, but I've, I've been here 18 years now and I'm I live and breathe it. Of course, job satisfaction is really a prime aim that should be for anybody. I regularly go to LA and New York and Houston in Texas, up to Canada near Niagara Falls, down to Brazil, Argentina, Mexico. It takes me everywhere. If you get involved with a company like MGF or even Leah could help you, they will guide you to the right way to go. The lifting industry is for everyone. It's not just inspecting a chain. I'm 20 years old and I'm running two lifting businesses. And there's a lot of cool things going on in different areas, different technologies being used, virtual reality for training. We've utilised virtual reality technology, taking it from a gaming system and putting it into real life training. Students put on a headset and all of a sudden they're in the cab of a crane. And they're learning how to make a lift you know, respond to trouble all within the safety of a classroom. And when they get ready to go and get a job, they're fully trained up and know what to do with a real live crane. And we at AG Cranes have uh, invested in a 4K drone and we're now filming cranes with a drone. Every time you step out of a hotel room, every time you step off a train, look around you. There's elevators, there's buildings, there's construction going on. You get on board a ferry, there's lifting operations going on. It's all around us. And without lifting, the world simply doesn't go around. To create a new product, you have to think about the problems that people have, in this case around lifting. And then you might sketch some ideas. You might use CAD or computer-aided design. Uh, you build models. We use 3D printing to build these models. And then you'd be working up to building the full-scale thing and the best part, which is full-scale testing, so you're actually trying to destroy the thing that you've made to see if it stands up to your calculations and your design and your thoughts. It's a very cool thing. <laughs> so I'd say the coolest project I'm working on right now is the current submarines that we're building. So it's called the Astute, and it's up to 90 metres long and 30 metres high, and it can hold up to 100 people at any one time. And the beauty of it is it's got a nuclear reactor so it can sail around the world without being refueled and coming up for air. We support and check the structures that launch rockets from the Woomera rocket range in the outback in South Australia. The most exciting project Reed Lifting has been involved with is sponsoring the Bloodhound Project. The Bloodhound Project is looking to break the land speed record uh, of over 500 miles an hour. The lifts that we generally tended to do went up to 70 tonnes, so say that's about 50 Range Rovers, for example. As the industry's grown and developed, we are now regularly making lifting equipment that can lift up to two and a half thousand elephants. Our engineers now use apps on their phones, uh, which are uh, designed by developers and coders and creatives uh, to make the recording of information more accurate, speedy and um, a better all round experience. We are very concerned about the environment. Uh, as a group, we are very interested in developing opportunities with uh, renewable energy and sustainable options for the future. Uh, as we transition from uh, fossil fuel, oil, gas, petrol for your cars, to um, electric cars and, and different technology. This industry needs to modernise, it needs to refresh, it needs to go live on social media, it needs to innovate, it needs the coding of the, of the clever individuals to start planning things, logistics, advanced planning, reciprocal orders, what's going to happen with the seasonality. These things are real, but the industry quite hasn't caught up with that just yet. What an opportunity for the youth of today.
Sometimes, you know, when you stop and look up and look around, you may think to yourself, hey, where else is this involved with? So this industry has a huge amount to offer people that isn't just about mechanical engineering and sitting and drafting and developing mechanical machines for lifting. It's much, much broader. And if you haven't looked at where lifting is used, just Google it. Have a look at the different locations where lifting is used and you'll find that it's incredibly exciting and I'll be amazed if there isn't a career path there somewhere for you that can be incredibly rewarding. Mm -hmm.